The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the November 21st, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes. Uh, currently, we've got the markets uh, relatively flattish, if you will, a little bit mixed. Uh, you got the transports that are up 11 uh, points right now. The uh, Dow's off 12, the S&P's down 2, NASDAQ 100 off 17. So we've certainly got things to look at out here. Of course, I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But this next 60 minutes, it's all about you, all about you. So a uh, gift's called 877-927-664. We'd love to take a look at whatever instrument it is uh, that you need some assistance with. Um, if you can't give us a call, you can always send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. In the subject heading, please put radio show question inside our Tiger's Den. Just uh, any ping, private, public, doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and get this show kicked off on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. Again, I'm Steve Rhodes, and welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we've got the, uh, I mentioned the markets were basically flattish out here. The largest move to the downside. Now, this is not a surprise to me or subscribers at this stage here. It is the Semiconductor Index. It's off uh, 20 points. It's down over 1%. It's trading out at 1690. The question we should ask ourselves is, can the uh, Semiconductor Index go ahead and pull this down, pull all the markets to the downside? I don't know the answer to that, but uh, it's got a good beginning. Hey, listen, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I know. Uh, the the, uh, the uh, instruments moving to the upside. Dollar winners, uh, you've got booking holdings up 18 bucks, 1%, no big deal. Restoration hardware up 8 bucks. Mercado Libre, 9. TD Ameritrade up 7. To the downside, it is Karuna Therapeutics off 20 bucks, 20%. Cubic Corp, $13, 19%. Guy. KLA 10 core, that's down 13 or 7.5. Amazon up 13, a little bit less than 1%. But let's uh, begin by taking a look at uh, one request that came in. This is coming in from Dennis. Dennis writes in, and he'd like to go ahead and exit some very long-term positions for his, um, for his uh, uh, elder mom. And uh, the two, two instruments he's looking at is Intel. And the question is, where's a good spot to exit? But he's got right now next to it. So if we just take a look at Intel, let's just come over. So, you know, you're looking for advice long term. Where is this thing, you know, headed to? So we know that Intel did form a nice, on a monthly basis, by the way, Dennis, formed a nice roads momentum indicator top of about uh, six, seven months ago. Out here, let me get my cursor. No reason for me to give you uh, approximations. It did it in uh, April of this year. Uh, but that uh, move to the downside really was just a uh, kind of a knee-jerk reaction, just two bars, in essence, one bar really to the downside. And price is now above Stevie. And it's running into resistance. So I can understand, Dennis, why the hair on the back of your neck is standing. When I say resistance, if we take a look at the highs back in June of 2018, and those were out at the 5760 level, uh, you had resistance there. Then uh, price makes a higher high, does it with less relative energy. Uh, that's up at 5959. You're at 5806. So you're in this range here of resistance. So um, if we go take a look at the daily time frame chart. So what's going on on a shorter term time frame for you? Uh, let's try to answer that question. Let's pull this up. Uh, so the daily time frame, the daily time frame actually generated the same pattern, Rhodes Momentum Indicator top yesterday. It did that with um, this Three River Evening Star pattern. So that was your bearish reversal candle. You can see you're trading with inside a daily profile. 5841 is the top of the uh, box out there. So it, it sounds to me like from your email, Dennis, that, uh, uh, you know, because of because of certain things, uh, you want to go ahead and, and, uh, and, and trim these positions. And so the daily Monthly, knowing that you're coming into resistance out here, you know, now is as good a time as any. You want to try to squeak a 
thirty some odd pennies out of it. Fifty eight forty one is resistance or the high from uh, November nineteenth, which is fifty eight sixty five. That's resistance level two. But when it comes to Intel, that's what I'll be looking at. You also wanted to look at McDonald's MCD, but again, you're taking a look at this from the longer term standpoint. So now in the case of McDonald's, I got the daily time frame chart up here. And if you were to ask me where's a, a good place to begin a long position inside of McDonald's, we'd say it's basically right now. 192.79, maybe it's 191.16 out there. Now, the reason that we would say that is because it's generated a nice roads momentum indicator bottom. The other two were tops out here, and that bottom came about on November 5th when you saw a bull sash candle. So is now the time to go ahead and exit your McDonald's position? Well, let's go look at the uh, monthly chart. That may change our mind out here, but the daily says you've got a buy signal inside of McDonald's. Now, the monthly time frame chart out here, what does it show for us? Um, you know, it shows it, – I, I don't have the pattern – per se. Price was moving higher to a less relative energy. We didn't get the bearish reversal candle out there, and uh, so therefore I won't call it a road's momentum indicator top, but this says price could pull back to support, which is 156.56 out here, but um, and the weekly chart. Let me see what the weekly chart for McDonald's says for you, Dennis, and for your mom. And the weekly chart says uh, bottom. It says bottom. So uh, what Price did was it pulled back to the 193.32 level. That was where uh, the breakout area was. And when it did that, and the reason why I say the weekly says bottom right now is because the week of November 8th confirmed roads, uh, I'm sorry, confirmed a TD setup nine count. So if that price level gets taken out, let's say the lows of last um, of two weeks ago. So if two weeks ago, if your C price moved below 187.55, then you're probably looking at 178. But you've got a bottoming signal on the daily and the weekly. And so, Dennis, I'm going to suggest that what you do with McDonald's is you you hold on to that since you've got time, it appears, uh, and you're looking to, uh, you know, to maximize that uh, sell. And uh, so to, to reiterate, to, to just restate it, Intel you, you, you need to sell, so right about now is the time to do that. You had already said that. I think you must have known that because you said right now. Your question was, does it look like uh, McDonald's is going to test the 171 area? And I think I answered that. Right now it's got a bottoming signal. And uh, so I'm going to go with the answer is no there. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. We had a request inside the Tigers then to take a look at an instrument. That instrument is... Let me find it here. Where was it? Could we? Uh, my apology. There's uh, some things in the den, and just trying to get through. Where was it? Uh, e X A S. E X A S is the uh, ticker symbol. Let me come over to our three time frame. Thank you, Peak. I appreciate that. E X A S. And uh, let's take a look at it. And the question is uh, neither long nor short, but where is this thing headed to? So. We're going to go to a break here in about 15 seconds peak, but here's what we know. Price is below the daily, I'm sorry, price, price is below the weekly and the monthly. The monthly was a bullish structured profile. Now, the month is not over 84.44, but it is trading below that, suggesting that intermediate and long term, this still wants to move lower. It's trading with inside the consolidation area, small consolidation area on a daily basis, 78.88 to 83.11. However, we're going to go take a look at Stevie's other charts when we get back here, see if there's any bottom signals on these uh, weekly or monthly time frame charts. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, the chart we're looking at is Exact Sciences Corp. EXAS is the uh, ticker symbol. And uh, just a uh, you know, little, little conversation, I guess, back and forth in the den with Peak D, who's asking about this instrument. And one interpretation could be that it's headed into the 60s. And we can certainly see that here from the longer term standpoint, as long as uh, price closes this month, the month of November, below 84.44, because it's a bullish structured uh, market profile out there. And let me just do this here and just turn off price for a moment, just so that we can take a look at the profiles. And so when I say bullish in structure, folks, what I want you to understand is, is so at the bottom of the box, I just want you to think of these um, of these yardage markers on our virtual chart here. Um, as kind of your, for, for lack of a better metaphor, my, my first down markers. And uh, 84, uh, 44, just think of it like this, the bottom of the box. So just think of it straightforward. At, at the bottom of a box is where you have buyers. And at the top of the box is where you have sellers. So we know we've got 84, 44 on a monthly basis to 119.60. The center line is where both buyers and sellers believe that price is fairly valued with inside of that range. And you can see that that's at the 88, 84 level. So there are many more buyers that are lined up between 84, 44 and 88, 84. And so that that level should hold. Now, it's a monthly time frame chart. And that means that uh, we really need to wait until the end of the month before we make that call. But it closed below that. Um, nothing, excuse me, longer term, nothing more bearish than a failed bullish pattern. Now, when I say full, uh, bullish pattern, I'm just referring to the profile itself. What you can also see out here, a peak that you could share with your friend, is that as you take a look at this coming off of the 2016 uh, bottom out here, you haven't seen any closes below the monthly profile. So this is a this is a uh, an indication of a change in trend or a potential change in trend out there. So so yes, um, that is most certainly a possibility. Now, when I had put my other chart up here during the break I think you were able to get a, uh, a view of it this is the daily time frame and on the daily time frame what you also can see is that prices is, is beginning to well it's been moving lower with less relative energy out here but I don't have a bullish reversal candle uh, it was really close this uh, this bottom candle here labeled uh, 
Looks like D with one of my counts out here around the 14th almost took out the prior high, the prior day's high, which would have been a key reversal session. It didn't. And so it doesn't really fit my requirements as one of those solid bottom patterns out here. Um, you can see the bottom of the daily box at 78.89 and Stevie's red line is really right in that area. So if price breaks through that too, uh, we'll know that profiles will have failed and I won't consider this to be a bottom candidate just yet. Now, if there's a bullish reversal candle, let's say to, uh, that could form tomorrow as an example, well, then what uh, price could do, it's giving you a solid bottom signal. And if it does that, then your price target, other than these profiles out here, from a daily standpoint, would be that price might want to break, uh, move all the way up to where it broke down, which was 113.10. 113. Whoops, that was the, I forgot, I'm using this, my other set of charts out here. So I can just flip over to my weekly time frame. And in the weekly time frame, you do have a bottom signal out here. And that bottom signal was the TD setup nine count. Now, if this week price closes below that, well, then that count was not a bottoming signal. So you do have that. There is an A to B equals CD pattern. So I can't do that on these charts just yet. But let me do it on the other charts. You can probably see this, too, because you're trying to come up with some type of um, a price projection area. And so the A to B equals CD tool is our price projection tool. And the A point out here was the high from the week of July 29th. Our B point was this candle that qualified as a hammer candle on September 30th. And the C point, whoops, come on. There you go. The C point was that little two-week bounce, that little knee-jerk uh, reaction to the upside out there, and only about a 0.382 retracement. So your one-to-one -one gets you to 61.95, a peak. If this isn't forming a bottom, and and, we, and I'm with you, it's somewhat suspect out here. I think this will do more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD pattern, uh, just simply because of the lack of a retracement, the close below the hammer candle. Volume-wise, that uh, hammer candle from September 30th had 10 million shares, and when it was passed, was with 14 million shares. So, you know, it's got kind of like that confirmed A to B equals CD. So in just doing this analysis that you and I have been doing, does this make more sense? to you you know is this is this now you know if you if i'm going to give advice to to a friend like you are uh, it's got some it's got potential bottoming to it but if the lows of last week get taken out then i think we have our final answer we it seems like we have our our final answer but really the final answer would have to be a close below last week's low and then your friend's probably looking at 5165 at a minimum that's 1.272, and it's because of that shallow retracement. Now, if it takes just um, weeks and weeks and weeks and goes sideways, well, then I'd come more back to the 61.95. So that's what I see when I take a look at exact uh, sciences corp, and I hope that that helps you uh, out with uh, that. Our next question coming in from um, MP, and MP wants to take a look at MJ. So let's go take a look at the MJ out here. I believe that is one of the uh, alternative harvest or something like that, right? Or is that not it? Yeah, it is. How about that? Pretty good memory. So you bought it a couple days ago. Your question is, I bought MJ two days ago when you said CGC may have bottomed. Thank you. Thanks, Brent. You're right. Uh, do you still think we have a bottom in the pot stock? So alternative harvest, here's what we know about it. Uh, it was moving lower, doing less relative energy, generated the same bullish or a bullish reversal candle. I believe the one in CGC was a stronger bullish candle. doesn't really matter. It's a bullish reversal signal, uh, confirming the Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. Uh, what I don't know, what you don't know, Mike, is so 1917, that was a support area. The question is, is that going to be resistance level? And I don't know. But if price is able to move above it, and I don't have a sell signal or anything for you, I I'm suggesting that you stay with this trade out here because it does look like this could be a, a decent bottom to take you up to 25, 26. That's the place where price broke down. That was on September the 17th. But that's the daily time frame out here. Let me go take a look at the uh, weekly time frame. See what we have. So on the weekly time frame, just as long as we punch back out here to our uh, black background charts. Now, what you're really looking for this week, it doesn't have to happen, but you'd really like to see price close. This is for ticker symbol MJ. You'd really like it to see, you'd really like to see this close back inside the weekly profile. The bottom is 1888. It's been tested. It's been rejected. But <clears throat> um, 
Really, what you'd love to see is 1969. But take take it one thing at a time out there, one step at a time. Now, the, the reason why I would say you want to stay with this trade right now is because it's not just the daily time frame that's generating that potential of a uh, rose momentum indicator bottom. The weekly right now is generating that uh, similar piercing candle. The daily was a piercing candle. I don't know how this is going to close tomorrow, but you've got a bullish reversal candle. And here's the real key. Let's just nail this thing down right now. The real key inside of MJ is its ability to close above 1936. Now, it may not do it this week. That's okay. That doesn't mean get out of it. But if it does close above 1936, that is Stevie's red line, then what this is saying to you, MP, is stay with this trade. It says you've got a bottom on the daily and a bottom on the weekly. And that would be a beautiful thing. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We get back from this break. We're going to go to Mike in Denver. We'll take a look at uh, Kronos, I believe it is. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's go out to uh, Denver. I believe we're still going to be talking about some um, some uh, marijuana-related stocks. Mike, uh, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How's Great, your you. morning going? Hi, just freezing out here. It's 20-some degrees, snowing. <laughs> Gotta love winter. 
um, yes, I love the uh, winter pictures. No, actually, I, I love I love uh, going out to uh, Colorado and going skiing. It's mm -hmm. different than, uh, but it's beautiful. I mean, there's nothing more beautiful than uh, than that. But uh, so uh, I know there's two stocks I believe you wanted to take a look at. Yeah, Kronos is 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 one of them. So uh, tell me how I can help you here. Well, I was um, been watching these two stocks, and about two days ago, it kind of looked like they had. Um, Started wanting to settle out, especially on the HEXO. But um, and today they came out with some good news, and as you can see, they've uh, both of them have kind of taken off as well as mm -hmm. CGC. But uh, do you think those were the actual bottoms? And if they were, what uh, I know they kind I think of they are. I think they are a bottom. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I, the the patterns that we took a look at. So I would say of of the uh, five or so uh, topping and bottoming patterns that I use to help us identify buying a bottom, selling the top out there, the most reliable one that will catch the largest moves are typically the Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom. And that's where the market just simply uh, stretches itself. Now it may take a couple of signals to get. It's a very, it's a very, the the way that I trade it. Just moving lower with less relative energy, if you use the RSI or whatever indicator you might want to use out there, isn't enough. And I proved that over and over again. You really have to have the market. When I say the market, in this case here, for somebody that's trying to look for a bottom, you really have to have the bulls generate that signal to you. You see, when buyers and sellers show up each day, they just have one role for you and I, and that one role is to uh, generate some type of bullish or reversal candle if it's appropriate at that time. And that's exactly what uh, HEXO, uh, or ticker symbol H-E-X-O, I don't know what the, uh, the name is right now and just taking a look at it, but that's exactly what signal they generated for us on November 19th. In this case here, uh, it was both a bullish engulfing, a bull sash, a key reversal candle out there. So what that was signaling to us was that the cavalry had arrived, that the bulls were at least going to attempt to form a bottom. But more so than just attempt to form a bottom, attempt to form a bottom where the market had stretched too far, that it was like playing a game of liar's poker. And you could see, you knew what was on your head, and you could see what was on the other person's head, and it makes it very easy to go ahead and, and make a hand or something along those lines. Now, what price has done today in Hexio, it's trading above the top of its profile out there, and that is bullish. Uh, the same thing is going on inside of um, uh, Kronos. I just switched back over to Kronos out here. And, and they're really all kind of doing the same thing. So I think one of your questions is, is there an, is there an entry point? You know, and do you hop on now? Is that, is that in essence your question? Yes, exactly. Yeah. So here's what I would have you do. So unlike um, uh, Michael, the prior individual who wrote in and is already in this, I'm going to suggest that you just stay put for the time being. And what you're going to watch for in Chrono specifically is you're going to want to watch the price point of 770, 790, 790 and 890. Because 790 is a possible resistance level where you'd see a pullback and then at a pullback, go ahead and jump on in. Um, 890 is a place where price could get up to and then pull back. If price gets above 890, this thing's headed to 11 bucks, 1091 uh, to be exact out there. But uh, you've got a little bit of resistance, potential resistance out here. And since you're not in it, I'd say just go ahead and wait to see if there's a pullback. This is the only indication I have where there might be a pullback out here. It's not a guarantee, but that's how I would trade it. Um, if I were you at the moment, based upon what I'm looking at. And I'm just trying to pull up. So Hexo, totally different animal out here. Uh, in fact, uh, let me come back and take a look at it. When I say different animal, we don't have the advantage of a weekly profile where there's resistance like the other two instruments did. Here, that level's all the way up at 461. This is at 252. So I wouldn't ask you to miss out on that kind of a move. So I just want to come back and take a look at the weekly time frame chart here. And so the weekly time frame chart... I don't necessarily have a bottoming signal. It looks like this week price is going to close above the close of bar number four if you're watching us on Tiger TV. And so it's not going to set up a TD, set up a nine count. I'm going to have you hold off on this one unless you see a, a weekly close above 277. Now, when you're looking to trade these or get into these instruments, is this for, you know, what's your time period? Well, um, 
I like to have, I have a couple of cats. I like pay put one in uh, for a longer term and the other one okay. just for like a date or swing trade. Okay, so um, I think that the, the best advice that I can come up with in looking at the charts was was what we took a look at for Kronos and in Hexio, 277 is the level that it needs to clear. If it does, it's just an indication that it's following along with the other pot stocks here and we'll have cleared a level of resistance that it hasn't been able to close above. That's Stevie's red line since uh, May of, uh, yeah, May 20th, uh, May 17th. Um, so, you know, quite a few months ago out there. So mm -hmm. that's how I would play it at this stage of the game. Sounds good. Appreciate all, right. all your help and keep watching the show. Okay. Well, thanks for doing that. My pleasure. And uh, enjoy the cold weather. Uh, I am. Thank you. Okay. You bet. Let's go out to uh, maybe another cold place out there, Kansas. Let's go to uh, Robert. Robert, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? You're right. It is cold here today, but I don't want to talk about that because it's a little bit gloomy. Gloomy. Wait, how can it could... be gloomy? you got the Kansas City Chiefs out there. Well, we, we do, but the, I was talking more about the weather than the sports. I know, I know. Cold, I know. I'm just trying to cheer you up. That's today. all. Just trying to cheer you up. Uh, so, uh, TLT, that could be kind of gloomy, too. You want to talk about something that's gloomy out there, Bonds? I'm just kidding you. So how can I help you with the nope. uh, TLT? So I've been uh, shorting TLT uh, for the last few months, and I cleared out my last short position last week, I think on Tuesday, November the 12th. Okay. And uh, I'd like to get back into it and short it again, and I'm, I'm looking at it and thinking, like, uh, today would be a good day, or do you think I should wait till tomorrow? To, I like the way you think. Go back in no. short. I, I like the way you think. Um now here's 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 the issue. Here's what you're here's what you're contending with. So this actually uh, now I'm not looking at TLT for you. Instead, I'm looking at the underlying instrument, so to speak, the 30-year Treasury. And it's much easier for me right. to look at this and then provide you with information as to what T bonds look like they're doing. And then from there, you can go ahead and transpose that over to TLT. Now. Even in my newsletter, um, you know, I told subscribers this this morning that it looked like uh, TLT may have top. We've been we in the newsletter, uh, we went lo we're we're long bonds. Didn't actually take a long trade, but but as far as the timer digest signals. Uh, they switched too long, and uh, we can see the skirtly buy pattern. We can see this nice daily profile that is out here, and uh, price basically hit the top of it uh, early this morning. And so, uh, not that this can't run higher, but you're asking, is now a good time to go short? And because of this profile out here, it's good enough for me, you're an experienced trader, to say, yeah, I can see taking a short. But if this closes over 161, give it a little bit of room out there, then price is probably headed to 164. Okay, well, I'll wait until like the last 10 minutes of trading. Sounds Thanks. great. Hey, thanks for calling. We're about to go to a hard break. That was Robert in Kansas looking at the TLT. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000, the interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. 
from all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Uh, folks hey thanks for all the uh, calls all the emails keep them pouring on in um right now we've got uh, three uh, in the queue here hector wants to take a look at uh, chewy ticker symbol here is c h w y uh chewy i think they are a um i think they sell something that's chewy i don't know actually i don't know what they do but um his question is did this bottom two days ago uh, would like to nibble here for a two to three month hold. So here's what we know. So Chewy is uh, an IPO. Clearly, we don't have a lot of data, a ton of data out here to assist us. Uh, Hector, we'll do the best that we can, but no profiles on the uh, weekly and monthly time frame of the profiles we do have, which are the daily, say that there's some substantial resistance right around 2357. That is the bottom of the uh, daily box and so uh, it suggests caution you're asking has this formed a bottom out here let's go back because we can see that you know bull sash uh, candle out piercing candle I should say um, and uh, price was moving lower doing with less relative energy on November 9th 18th out there you get the 19th the bullish reversal candle it's pulling back today so your question was did this form a bottom it does have a bottom pattern out here and uh, your if you want to enter now 2278 2255 you know you've got to have your stop below the low from november 18th uh if you're wrong you do know that you've got some significant resistance at 2357 the last uh, two of three days have tested that and rejected that that doesn't mean that it's not a bottom that's a daily time frame so the daily time frame signal says yes still resistance nothing that's been cleared so it's not like it's in a breakout bullish mode but your question was did it form a bottom the answer is absolutely it's got a bottom pattern that has been confirmed yeah so nothing is going to really show up for us on the uh, weekly or the monthly with regard to my other tools out there so best of luck and uh, thanks so much for writing in alan writes in and alan wants us to take a look at ticker symbol tslx so let's go ahead and put this in here tslx and uh, see what it says. Uh, let's go take a look at the uh, questions. Very interesting out here. But if we take a look at uh, his question is, please do an analysis using all of your tools regarding symbol TSLX. Uh, do you think this stock is setting up to break out above the most recent high of just over 22? The all-time highs in the 24-25 area. So 
Allen, let's see here. What do we have? We do have a potential seventh wave move out here inside of uh, inside of the ticker symbol TSLX on its daily time frame. Um, nothing major to report uh, to the downside because price is really just testing the top of its profile in this 2150-ish area out there. So no real breakdowns. Your question was, do I think it will get above 22? Right now, what it's suggesting to us, there may be a top and a pullback into 2108 to 2077. And I think you're referring to, you know, is like going to do it here in the foreseeable short term time frame. Now, if I look at the weekly time frame chart out here, what do I have? Um, I tell you what I think we have on the weekly. Let me do this because I don't have an A to B equals CD tool on on that. Let's get TSLX, TSLX going on my weekly. And uh, so the weekly generated a key reversal session out here. That's what that's what immediately caught my eye. I want to take a look at this longer term A to B equals CD because, you know, you've got a daily topping pattern out there. Now we might have a confirmed A to B sell the D point out here. Boy, we, it, we really do. Um, 2199 was the one to one A to B equals CD uh, price projection. And, and this is the week here we're looking at November 4th. And what I want you to notice is that the prior week, uh, its high and low was exceeded by the week uh, that began November 4th. And you had a tick in the opposite direction. A red bar in this case here. It's not a bearish Japanese reversal candle, but it is an American key reversal session, and they can identify tops and bottoms as well. Now, this just suggests that price will pull back to a, a level of support, and that level of support is 2117. But the uh, daily and weekly are suggesting that this wants a little bit of a rest, pull back into support. We've already taken a look at those levels out here on a monthly time frame. Uh, the swing point it was dealing with is August in uh, 2017. That had 5 million shares. You're at 4 million shares. So it doesn't look like it's really trying to take out these highs with volume. Uh, the volume you were referring to back in June of 2014 had 9 million shares. So I think what we have to go with here, Alan, is this looks to me more like this is, is preparing for a retracement. May not be, you know, how significant is it going to be? I don't know. But prices you know, above some support levels out here, key support levels. So, uh, but I would uh, I would uh, brace for a, a pullback versus this getting up to the uh, levels that you were first uh, looking at. And it's only 21.48. And your question was, will this get to uh, over 22 bucks? We'll get to $24 out there. And uh, Stevie's saying, be careful because the charts are suggesting eh, maybe not so fast. Our next uh, request is to take a look at uh, Apple. So uh, let's punch those charts up on the screen. And the question is from Nancy. Nancy, fancy Nancy. I mean that in an affectionate way, fancy. Fancy, Nancy, <laughs> if that's okay with you. Because I have to have my conversation with you because you sent out an email like this. Um, that, and that's okay, too. I love that. So keep sending them. Okay, I'll just reverse it back up here. But uh, Nancy says, hey, Steve, would you give uh, your opinion? We'll give the charts opinion on Apple and its trading range. Uh, down further or rally up? You're holding the November 29th, 260 call options. This is trading at 262, a little underwater at present, although coming off a very good week. So if we take a look at, so the trading range, that was one of the first things you had asked about. And the only trading range that you and I have out here for uh, Apple is going to be coming from its daily time frame chart. And that is the TAS market profiles on the left-hand panel if you're watching us uh, on Tiger TV out here. And you'll see that that's a profile that formed today. And this is a bearish structured profile. Now, resistance out here is 266.06 and support is 260.22. One of your questions was up or down. I'm going to say that what sellers should be able to do is push price down to 260.22. 260.22. Now, what you and I are going to do with regard to Apple is just try to pull back the curtain and try to understand how often does Apple trade below the bottom of its profile. The reason why you want to do that is because if you do see a close below 260.22 and it doesn't really trade below the bottom of its profile very often, that would be suggesting to go ahead and uh, simply take back whatever um, whatever capital is left on that trade out there. So here, coming off of the uh, lows from back in uh, June, June 3rd, 2019, what we will see is the first time that Apple broke through the bottom of a uh, profile, daily profile, was on August 5th. 
and it had gapped to the downside. It remained below the bottom of a profile for four days. But that was kind of the low out there. That kind of, it was the low. It was a one-day uh, wonder below the bottom of those profiles out there. And uh, we did have uh, another period of time, short period of time, wasn't much damage. Uh, our price was below the profiles back on August 26. Uh, that lasted just a couple of days. Um, so here's the, here's, here's the deal. If you see price close below the bottom of that profile, 260.22, don't do anything until you see day number two. Get some additional follow through. If it's just a one day miss, push down below support, but there's no follow through to the downside, well, then it was just, uh, you know, a false breakdown. Second day in a row, that says uh, expect a further pullback. Nancy, fancy Nancy. I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. Best of luck on your trade. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated Concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Let's go to John in Philly. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? Great, Steve. Uh, quick closing question. January crude oil, CLF0. Is yeah. this move to higher highs since October 3rd? Anything in your work that says this is likely a breakaway move that runs up towards 63? That's the question. 
I've got 6014 as the uh, next stop to the upside, which bums me and I'm sure some subscribers out because we have been long, we had been long light sweet crude and got stopped out for for a nice profit, I think seven eight percent back on that uh, flush on November 19th. But uh, John, um, you know, as we've rolled over to the uh, January contract, the 6014 is the uh, monthly horizontal trading range. Um, uh, I'm sorry, it is the monthly. Uh, top of its uh, TAS market profile. So I believe that that is the uh, next price target there for uh, Light Sweet Crude. Does that help you out? Thanks so much, Steve. You bet, you bet, and thanks for calling. That was John in uh, Philly. Uh, we had a request to take a look at uh, GDX uh, inside of the uh, 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 inside of the Tiger's Den. And uh, I apologize, I forget who would ask, but I want to make sure that we get to it. Uh, first, with regard to the GDX, it kind of leads into, hey, what's gold doing? Again, gold right now trading in between its profiles, uh, profiles being the daily, between 1453 and 1474. You can see the descending uh, channel line out here. Uh, my call is still for gold to uh, head uh, lower and much lower, the kind of lower that's going to take people out of it because they didn't use stops. They just stayed in it and believe that somehow inflation was the reason that gold was going to keep moving up. But you asked about the uh, GDX out here, and it comes to the GDX, just like in uh, gold, the GDX is actually uh, a little bit worse than gold than that the, I believe gold had a TD set up on its weekly time frame, a, a weekly uh, TD nine count, well, the GDX doesn't. And if you got a big old Rhodes Momentum indicator top out here, and this says the GDX, between now and January, could really pull back to $20.28. But first, it's got to break through support, just like gold. And on a daily basis, that's $26.40. Folks, thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned. Two great hours of programming coming up. David White, Tom O'Brien, and I'll see you on Fabulous Friday. Take care.